my family. Welcome back to my videos, guys. I'm making this one today about more of a brand than a specific knife, even though it is the knife that uh, is going to be making me so excited about the brand, if that makes any sense. Uh, first off, I wanted to show off some of my Blade HQ swag from Black Friday, some of the amazing deals they had, some of the great giveaways, uh, that, you know, they were giving away t-shirts, cards, pins, um, when I asked them for a Frankie and Bird drawing, the first time they sent me a Frankie and Bird drawing, but ever since, now every time I ask, they no longer send me Frankie and Bird drawings, now, um, they have somebody else doing their drawings at hashtag blade hq drawings or i guess it would be bhq drawings and uh has a nice christmas message on it with a sweet sad little bird which is awesome it's pretty neat um i think this is ams so give them credit for it it's a really cool bird but the whole reason I asked for a Frankie and Bird drawing was just to drive Blade HQ crazy and show them that I support Frankie and Bird and um, to help them out as much as possible. Anyhow, they also sent me this drawing with the next order. Oop. Sorry, I didn't mean to pull it up there. So somebody else tried to draw their own Frankie and Bird drawing. That's pretty neat, but uh, I don't know. I'd copyright these. They should definitely be bugging you for your drawing. Maybe give you a knife for trading them. <laughs> Who knows? I don't know. Uh, hopefully I'm not driving them too crazy with asking for those or, or, or getting you guys in too much trouble. Um, I just thought it was an, a neat thing that they that you do and that, that, um, that we can get them to send them when we're not asking too much anyhow as you can tell uh, the knife I want to talk about today is a Kubi from the brand Kubi they were having some really amazing Black Friday sales but even without their Black Friday sales they usually have really incredible prices um, this isn't actually the knife I'm, I'm talking about but this is a Kubi knife this here is uh, a normal on sale knife or normal low price knife $9.99 for this thing and um, you know, my fiance she loves using this knife this is her her favorite go-to because it's small it's easy to open easy to close it, and uh, I like it too it has a great action I actually really like what Jack farm boy did to Jimmy slashes with that orange fill in um, that was really really neat companies should maybe try to do something like that themselves this is a great knife too deep pocket clip you know nothing special on the blade still 8cr13 mov but uh it's a good useful knife there's you know the size of my finger to it so it's not not very big sorry my dog's knocking me into things but i have that out because i'm becoming a huge fan of this brand Another knife that I picked up from them that I'm not doing the review about because I feel like it's maybe too close of a copy, which Kubi does have a bad habit of doing some um, possible clones or almost identical copies. Now they always do put their name on it, they don't claim to be anything else, and they do make changes. Um, I have a a Rat 1 type knife from Kubi that is almost identical to the Rat 1 except it's uh, thicker and a little bit bigger but this knife here I don't know if you see what that reminds you of um, I'm not gonna say myself but this is an amazing knife I mean full carbon fiber D2 steel titanium backspacer and I don't believe this is titanium I think this is anodized stainless steel um, 
I'm trying to remember. I did. I don't think I tried a magnet to this. But this is an awesome knife. Has a really great action. Oop, if I can do it without hitting anything. But it does have an amazing action. Fires right out. My only complaint is it's hard to get to that lock bar release. That liner in there is they don't have any type of milling they don't have it filed out at all so even though they do have jimping in there it's difficult to get to but once you get used to it and jam your thumb in there it works just fine and man is it an amazing knife um, I think I got this for $40 I, I guess they're going for 70 now at the time I didn't know it was on sale I just happened to get lucky apparently on Amazon um, but now that I see it on their website, it's $70. Still not a bad deal for real carbon fiber, D2, and I believe titanium. That might be stainless though. Let's see the difference. But the reason I'm doing the video about the brand, the knife that really got my attention, is this crazy little fellow right here. Jimmy Slash turned me on to this knife. Um, I believe this is the KU159. Sorry if I'm wrong on that. But this knife is incredible for what I got, got it for for Black Friday. Um, I paid $69.99 for this knife. Full carbon fiber. S35VN blade with titanium backspacer and titanium pocket clip as well as a titanium uh, pivot and I did check these with a magnet you know they're not magnetic and um, I'm pretty sure they're 100% they're, they're definitely titanium and you can tell this is carbon fiber and not just laminated by the way it's milled out there it has nice thick liners with a partial backspacer I guess it would be half a backspacer and a lot of people might not like the look of this blade because of this added wave feature but that's sort of what sold me on the knife um, Whenever I use a knife at work, I definitely need it to be one-handed, but the faster I can have the blade out, the better, because I'm usually holding something heavy. Um, I need to cut tape or a, a chunk of carpet loose while I'm pulling on it with my other hand, something like that. So I, for me, it's not really a fighting knife. It's better for work, but it's also great to have that option to um, have it deployed directly out of your pocket. With that S35VN, the blade is going to hold that edge, which came razor, razor sharp. I mean, this thing came hair whittling sharp right out of the box. Does an awesome job. You can hear it popping those hairs like it's nothing. Came like that right out of the box, and it should hold that for a very, very long time with that S35VN steel. You got fairly thick blade stock, but not so much so that it compromises the grind, especially with this fast drop. Um, I'm trying to see... No, that's not a hollow grind. I guess that would be a flat grind. Or almost... Um, no, I, I'd probably call that a flat grind. It does have a little swedge up here. And then you've got... The Tonto blade shape with that really steep grind. I can't get it to, uh, there we go. You get that real steep grind, so it comes down to an even finer edge at the point. I mean, so that gives you pretty much, I can't get this thing to, uh, let me see here. There we go. So it comes down to an even thinner edge at that Tonto point so you can really do some detailed work with that 
or if you need to do piercing it will do an amazing job of piercing um, the handle scales are a little thick they're, they're probably over half an inch I don't have anything to measure them with to tell you exactly you can get all the specs off the website at thecubiknife.com or on Amazon uh, most likely Amazon won't have the exact specs so kubinife.com now my issue with this knife is the same issue I have with this one For some reason they're just not giving a relief to get to that liner and on this one that is it's a thick line it's, I mean it is a thick liner you could almost get rid of the carbon fiber and just have the liners as the outside of the knife they're so thick so on this one it, it, it matters a little more that you can't seem to get your thumb in there with a lot of torque now it works just fine once you get used to it it's not bad it's not really a problem um, it's just I really wish they would have milled that out I don't know if you can see my thumb there but from these knives I'm actually getting a groove in my thumb where it's starting to cut I mean between being winter and my hands being dried out and then actuating these knives constantly um, yeah it's starting to, to crack there but even with that issue and my uh, other issue would be this this giant honking <laughs> flipper tab I mean this thing is um, this thing is definitely a pecker, but a pocket pecker, I should say. But it still it makes an awesome opening for when you don't, you know, actuate out of your pocket. I mean, you can actually hit this tab and flick it open that way, which is nice. Um, you may be able to spider flick it, but I don't think so. The detent is so strong, I, I would probably rip my cuticle. But that's I think that's why they made the flipper tab so long it's uh, because of having a strong detent makes it fly out I mean, this thing really really has a great action let me get past that detent there and just just give it a little to make a lie out of here but there we go I, I failed that on purpose just to just to show you this action this thing is really doesn't want to do it for me now yeah it's it it just swings loose I mean this thing has a really really great action I'm not lying about it it really does came centered up great what makes me know that on this knife that's titanium is um, I, I was gonna say they both look the same both look similar but no I think this is stainless steel and this is definitely titanium anyhow guys um, ergos on this knife are really really awesome if you have much bigger hands than me then it might get a little odd um, but it's gonna be hard to have hands much much bigger than mine um, unless you're a giant I mean I, I have extra large hands um, my hands fit really tight in like extra large gloves but your hand fits in here almost like it was going to be knuckles I mean you know this thing was curved up it would it literally feels like you're grabbing a pair of knuckle dusters a lot of people might not like that because it's not going to fit everybody's hand perfectly you know the more basic the shape the better it's going to fit your hand but for me with big big hands this thing literally fits like a glove I mean it, it is in there so well I, I, you know I don't know it's almost dangerous it makes you wanna <laughs> makes you wanna fight with it which you know you should never do you should never ever you know do but uh, the wave feature works amazing up oh, make a liar out of me again and it's awesome out of the pocket Sometimes, you know, you have to be careful and, and give it a little tilt if you want to get it out of the pocket without it waving open um, Because it, it grabs now it does have a strong detent, so it's not going to come open accidentally uh, You actually have to give it a little force to get that thing to 
come out, but I really, I really, really like this blade shape. I said, I mean, of course it would look better without the wave feature, but to me that, that sells the knife alone. And then the S35 VN steel and the carbon fiber. So I think this knife is now going for $99 on the website, but when it's on sale, $69.99. Uh, this to me would be the you know the the sell of the century. I mean I think it's going for almost the same price as the LA Police Gear, or LA yeah LA Police Gear knife that is supposed to be S35 VN. That's going for I think $59.99 maybe $49.99. Um, but this is this is much better design than that one you're getting carbon fiber titanium and nice s35 vn blade i believe this is three and a half inches yeah three and a half inches i know it's silly <laughs> measuring my finger but i have to do it every day at work and my knuckle each set to a knuckle is an inch i found what i need to um to do an actual yeah see three and a half inches let's find out this width here so that's hard to tell there let's see here well okay almost exactly a half inch wide maybe a hair over a half inch wide is widest point Virgos great I don't know everything is awesome about this um Kubi. Those guys are really, really getting at it. They're starting to bring out some more expensive knives I noticed on their site. They're getting up in the 200s, something like that. But um, I'll stick with these amazing budget knives for now. Just uh, be careful taking other people's designs. You know, that's it's not always the best. I mean, the clip's in a different place. It, it may just look similar. It may not be, but either way, awesome knife. Love it love it I even love this thing um, these knives they come with a pouch holds two knives in it come with a knife cleaner uh, I think it even came with a, a, a spare cleaner I think I don't know. but yeah amazing deal Anyhow, guys, I hope you guys have uh, an amazing Christmas. If they have any deals like they did Black Friday, then snag them up. I mean, tis the season to be a uh, blade addict. <laughs> you guys are the best. I love our community. The knife community is really the best I've ever been part of. Um, and if anybody ever needs anything, you know, hit me up. That's the other thing, guys. I'm, I'm going to look into changing my name. I had it for just my business name, but it doesn't really match up with doing any knife reviews. So if I'm going to keep doing them, I should probably have something to do with my hobby. Anyhow, just the season, guys. Have a great one.